Western hunter-gatherers inhabited Europe in the Mesolithic period. WHGs relied heavily on hunting, fishing, and gathering as their primary means of subsistence. Their diet included large game animals like deer and aurochs, as well as smaller animals, fish, nuts, berries, and other forage plants. They were highly mobile, constantly moving and migrating in search of resources. Temporary campsites near rivers, lakes, and forests were common. WHGs used microliths, small stone tools often used as components of composite tools like arrows or spears. These were crafted through precise flint napping techniques. Bone, antler, and ivory were used to create tools, ornaments, and weapons such as harpoons, needles, and scrapers. The Western hunter-gatherers may have been the first European group to adopt basic ceramic technologies for cooking or storage. Artistic expressions included carvings, engravings, and portable art, such as figurines or decorated tools. Some rock art may also be attributed to WHE groups. Nets, fish hooks, and weirs were utilized for fishing, a significant food source for many groups living near water bodies. Archaeological evidence suggests WHGs traded materials like flint, shells, and amber across considerable distances, indicating a network of communication and exchange. For this video, I gathered the genomes of six Western hunter-gatherers. I ran them through my trade predictor tool for DNA analysis, the purchase link for which will be in the description, along with the purchase links for the DNA files. Let's begin with BDB001. That sample comes from Germany and is female. She is predicted to have hazel eye color, black hair color, olive skin color, wavy hair texture, and a snub nose shape. She is predicted to be a worrier. She is also predicted to have an intermediate availability of D2 receptors, intermediate odds of autism, lower level of empathy, intermediate odds of obesity, and is predicted to carry blood type O. She had high odds of migraine, polycystic ovary syndrome, cataracts, age-related macular degeneration, asthma, leukemia, baldness, Alzheimer's, and glioma. She carried rare risk variants for Jacob Kreutzfeldt disease and spina bifida. She had low odds of erythema nodosum, hemoglobin E disease, stroke, atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, ADHD, bipolar disorder, multiple sclerosis, thyroid cancer, and polycythemia vera. Next, let's move on to Cheddar Man. He is male from Britain, and carries Y lineage I2A. He is predicted to have hazel eye color, black hair color, olive skin color, curly hair texture, and snub nose shape. He is predicted to be a worrier. He is also predicted to have an intermediate availability of D2 receptors, intermediate odds of autism, higher levels of empathy, intermediate odds of obesity, and is predicted to carry blood type O. He had high odds of kidney stones, hemoglobin E disease, migraine, gout, cataracts, age-related macular degeneration, vitiligo, myopia, primary biliary cirrhosis, baldness, schizophrenia, type 2 diabetes, glioma, and polycythemia vera. He carried rare risk variants for Lee-Fermini syndrome and recalcitrant atopic dermatitis. He had low odds for erythema nodosum, leukemia, corneal astigmatism, stroke, atrial fibrillation, type 1 diabetes, and multiple sclerosis. Next, we move on to KGH6, who lived in Ireland. KGH6 is male and carries Y lineage I2A. He is predicted to have blue eyes with an amber center ring, black hair color, olive skin color, straight hair texture, and Greek nose shape. He is also predicted to be a worrier, to have fewer D2 receptor sites, to have lower odds of autism, higher level of empathy, intermediate odds of obesity, and blood type O. He had high odds of polycystic ovary syndrome, primary biliary cirrhosis, baldness, type 2 diabetes, glioma, testicular cancer, and thyroid cancer. He carried rare risk variants for Brugada syndrome. He had low odds of erythema nodosum, hemoglobin E disease, eczema, rheumatoid arthritis, leukemia, stroke, deep vein thrombosis, cardiovascular issues, ADHD bipolar, schizophrenia, type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and polycythemia vera. Next, we move on to MPR001 who is from Belgium and is female. She is predicted to have hazel eyes, black hair, olive skin, straight hair texture, and snub nose shape. She was also a worrier and had intermediate D2 receptor availability. She is predicted to have higher odds of autism and intermediate levels of empathy. 
She had intermediate predisposition to obesity and had blood type O. She had high odds for hemoglobin E disease, exfoliation glaucoma, cataracts, age-related macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, baldness, type 2 diabetes, and Alzheimer's. She carried rare risk variants for spina bifida. She had low odds of migraine, vitiligo, myopia, corneal astigmatism, atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, cardiovascular issues, ADHD, multiple sclerosis, breast cancer, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. Next, let's move on to Villabruna. Villabruna is a male from Italy and unlike the rest of the samples is not from the Mesolithic, but is from the Paleolithic period. He carried Y lineage R1B. Villabruna is predicted to have green eyes, black hair, light brown skin tone, straight hair texture, and a Greek nose shape. Villabruna was also a worrier, like the rest of the individuals, and was predicted to have intermediate D2 receptor availability. He had intermediate odds of autism, higher levels of empathy, average predisposition to obesity, and blood type O. He had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, exfoliation glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, myopia, baldness, Alzheimer's, and glioma. He carried no risk variants for any rare condition. He is predicted to have lower odds of gout, eczema, Tourette's, epilepsy, stroke, atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, ADHD, multiple sclerosis, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. Finally, we move on to our last WHE sample for this video, Ho002 from France. He was male and carried Y lineage I2A. He was predicted to have blue eyes with an amber center ring, dark brown hair, olive skin tone, curly hair texture, and a snub nose shape. He was also a worrier and had intermediate D2 receptor availability. He was predicted to have intermediate odds of autism and higher levels of empathy. He was predisposed to average odds of obesity and carried blood type O, just like the rest of the samples. He had high odds of erythema nodosum, exfoliation glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, vitiligo, corneal astigmatism, primary biliary cirrhosis, baldness, and Alzheimer's. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, Jacob Kreutzfeldt disease, Vardenberg syndrome, Brigada syndrome, familial thoracic aortic aneurysm, myosclerosis, Lefermini, spina bifida, and Holoris encephaly, which is also known as cyclopia. He had low odds of kidney stones, hemoglobin E disease, primary congenital glaucoma, myopia, stroke, deep vein thrombosis, type 2 and 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, prostate cancer, and polycythemia vera. Thank you for watching until the end. The purchase links for each of these hunter-gatherer genomes in 23AMI format will be in description, along the purchase link for my trait predictor executable.